This training is on the RecDesk Flex Forms, and this is the Builder portion. Only the Director and Administrative directors, directors are able to log into this portion. And once you sign in, you click on your Settings tab, and you create your form types. As you can see, I have several types that have already been created, and to uh, add in a new one, just click Add New Type, type in the name, and click on Create. And if you click on your forms list, you'll go back to your main page. And from here, you can search your forms by name, by the types we just created, whether the status is active or archived, and if there have been any responses. And when, right now, we're going to start a new form. And this is just going to be Health Assessment 2017. And if I click right here on the top element, I'll be able to change my form type if I wanted to attach it to a certain type. And it will automatically fill in on my first section break, and this will be the header on the page. These two elements will also automatically drop in. If you don't want them, you just click the delete. Quick rundown of what you're looking at. Over here is the toolbox with all of the elements. You just need to scroll over them and you'll get a brief description of what they all can do and what they can all be used for. In the middle is the design surface and over on the right is your dialog box. So every time you go in <coughs> and say we're going to create a new section break and we're going to title it Allergies. As you type into this property box, it automatically updates the design surface. And we're going to start out by using a checkbox check list. In this, I'm going to label Known Allergies. And I can select the number of columns I would like, whether I want them in line, one, two, th or three. And then below that are my choices. It'll automatically show up with option one and option two. You can either highlight over and type right over, or if you wanted to delete it, just click on the X, and it'll delete. And we're going to put in a few options. And then we're also going to allow Add Other, which will show up as a text box that they can just fill in the information on the other side. And we can also make this a required field, meaning that they have to fill out this question in particular in order to complete the form. And the next one I'm going to use is a checkbox. And this is just going to be Agree to Administer First Aid. And it's just Check to Agree. And we're going to also make this one a required field. Now my next section I'm going to ask for doctor's information. And if I had a description, I could type it in here. If I didn't want one, I could delete it out. And I'm going to use a text box for the doctor's name. And from here, I could just click on the advanced elements. I want his phone number, his email, and the address. And then if you get here and you're like, you know, I don't want the email on top of this, on top of the address, I want it below, you just click on the move and you just slide it to the location that you would like. And that is all you need to do in order to create a form. Once you're ready, you just click on Save Changes. And you can close the form. And in this page, you're able to duplicate forms. Say your health assessment is going to roll over from one year to the next, and, there's no, and even if there are some changes that you need to add in, you can duplicate the form and just update it for the next year's information. You can preview it, submit responses, edit the form. You can only delete a form if it has not had a response. Otherwise, if there are responses, this would say archive form. And that is it for today's lesson for using the Flex Form Builder.